everybody. Just another quick video to talk about some of the gear that I have learned to take on my rides. Uh, now this is not a definitive list of everything that I bring. Um, some things I leave at home, some things I keep with me, but what you're seeing here is a pretty common loadout for what I do uh, from the riding that I've done, either on the trails or on the roads, whatever. I just kind of walk you through some of this to give you some ideas. What you won't see here are any type of tools. So I'm still working on you know, a Leatherman or, uh, you know, do I need Allen wrenches? Trying to figure out the, the sweet spot for tools that I need to take with me for little things. Uh, for example, uh, the one wipeout that I've had bent the handlebars. Like it, it bent them, actually bent them sideways. So I had to kind of crank it back to get it back to, to, to straight. Um, but that was just a, you know, a quick fix by just using manpower to torque it back. But anything that might loosen up, I'm going to have to figure out a way to bring tools with me when I uh, go out riding. But for the meantime, this is basically what I've learned to carry just through hard-earned experience. And we'll start with the bottom here. So although my rack is currently damaged to the point where I can't technically put any weight on it, um, I do, uh, even, even if the rack did work, I probably wouldn't get a basket on the back like a lot of people do. And I'll tell you why. Because if you ever have to dump the bike, anything you have inside that basket, you have to pull out or leave behind. And I'm not, uh, I carry enough stuff that that's not something that I'm gonna wanna do. So I actually ride with a backpack and just keep it on me the whole time. That way, wherever I am, my backpack is. And weirdly enough, it kind of softens the blow if you fall off your bike and land on your back. So it's kind of weird that that's, that's kind of a, another use for it. But uh, within the backpack, what I typically carry is, you know, water. So I carry a, uh, a bottle of, of water with me wherever I go, whenever I go, regardless of whether it's cool or hot. I've also started to learn to carry bug spray. You can't underestimate how important bug spray is if you plan to do any kind of field type trails. Um, it just makes life so much easier when you don't have mosquitoes gnawing at you. So that was a hard learned lesson from uh, one of my trail rides. The other thing that I learned to do is pack a little medical kit. So I actually um, have this little Maxpedition pouch um, that was given to me by a friend of mine and really didn't know what to use it for. Well, this is perfect for um, using it as a first aid kit. So within these cigar, uh, you know, old cigar tents, I've got things like bandages, uh, you know, band-aids, small, large. I also have uh, wet wipes. I also have like Tylenol and some salt packets, things like that. Um, but I also carry afterbite and, and antibiotic. Um, when I wiped out and nuked my knee, I was glad I had this with me. So. It's definitely something that uh, if you're not carrying a pack today, you might want to consider doing that in the future. And it doesn't have to be fully fleshed out. It just has to be something simple, right? You know, just bandages and things that you might get, scrapes and, and cuts. I also carry Afterbite in case you do get bitten by a bee or, you know, mosquitoes, whatever. This stuff is, is money right here. So just a little small pack that you can keep with you. Um, that way, if somebody gets scratched, you've got a way to handle it. I also started carrying and wearing gloves on every single ride. Um, so when I first started doing rides, I didn't think about carrying gloves, but it just takes one trip through bush to figure out you're gonna need gloves, that way you don't scar up your knuckles. So anywhere I ride, I bring gloves, whether I need them or not. Um, obviously for multimedia, I've got the GoPro, I've also got my Hollyland microphone system in here, so I carry this with me to capture trails. And then I've also started carrying a cool rag. So this is one of those, um, Mission, I think is the brand, and yeah, it's a Max Plus. So basically I pre-wet this before I leave the house and then it stays wet pretty much the entire trip. But the, the goal with this is if you start to overheat, these things will cool you down pretty fast. So wrapping that around your neck, around your head, things like that, uh, or anybody else that might be suffering from heat fatigue, this is a, a godsend. So it's very small form factor and it's easy to keep with my pack. So in a nutshell, that's basically it. Like I said, this is Pretty much what I carry with me all the time right now. Um, or of course, in the winter, I'll be carrying bug spray. But when it comes to what I use on the trails, this is the best, best way I've gotten. And I think all in, it's probably about five pounds worth of gear. So not too heavy to hold on the back. Um, but I'd like to get your thoughts on what you see as uh, an appropriate loadout for when you go biking. You know, what kind of tools do you typically bring with you? I know some people bring air pumps and things like that. I haven't quite gotten to that point yet. Um, but uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. So leave some comments below. Thanks, everybody.